Hello once again. I know that I said I was going to have a whole graphics package and title card and everything, but you know, graphic designers, they cost a bit, take a little bit of time. So we're working on it. We're working on it. And for now, you get Savannah's singles review. All right. So starting with song number one, we have Regina Spector with her new single, Becoming All Alone. In all honesty, Regina Spector is a name that I've heard quite a few times before, but I've never actually ventured to listen to any of her music at all, so it's my first exposure. The song sounds very orchestral with a pop beat, and I really enjoyed the music leading up to that beat. It didn't really sit well with me when it kicked in. I do like as the song went on, more instruments were added and you can kind of hear more embellishments. The musical bridge was nice with the synths, the horns, the strings, and that was definitely my favorite part of the song. Her voice is very, very nice, but I don't know if the song spoke to me as much as I expected it to from the beginning because as it went on, it kind of lost me a little bit. Maybe it's just personal preference. I didn't find the vocal melody very memorable. I'm not really a fan of lyrics explaining the story or explanation songs as I like to term them. For how beautiful the music sounds, it didn't do much for me as it went on. Unfortunately, this one isn't going on the playlist, just solely for personal preference. Speaking of explanation songs for track two, we have Bowling for Soup with I Wanna Be Brad Pitt. My exposure to Bowling for Soup kind of gave me an idea of what to expect with this track and they definitely did not let me down. This entire song is a rundown of pivotal moments in Brad Pitt's professional and personal life. The chorus is incredibly catchy. I Wanna Be Brad Pitt, I want to be Brad Pitt. I bet even Brad Pitt wants to be Brad Pitt. I want to be Brad Pitt. I want to be Brad Pitt. It would be the shit if I was Brad Pitt. Perfect songwriting right there. The song is simple and to the point, like pop punk songs normally are, but it is incredibly memorable with the hook in the chorus. It's just, it's something that I will be walking and thinking, I want to be Brad Pitt, I want to be, oh my god, it is just, it's embedded in there. The entire premise of the song does remind me of Van Halen by Nerf Herder, which again is an incredibly funny song to me. It is definitely going on the playlist solely because it makes me laugh, it is incredibly memorable, and I just like bowling for soup. I, I'm biased. And finishing off with track number three, we have Florence in the Machine with King. Like Regina Spector, this is another band that I've either heard in passing or have only heard the name and didn't really venture to hear any of their music, but here we are. Her voice catches me off guard at the start. I'm not sure what I expected, but it wasn't that, and I actually really liked it. I like how she can dip her voice so deeply, meanwhile singing at a regular register and then just digging in there, and I, I like that. The song sounds so expansive and wide, especially when you're wearing headphones. The singing in the bridge was nice, but it kind of wore on me as it went on. By the time I was kind of sick of it, the instrumental had come in, and I was fine with that. And I know this is a major label release, but it kind of sounds homemade, like a DIY type of feel. I find that the sounds aren't crystal clear, which definitely adds to that homemade kind of feeling. I'm unsure if this is going on the playlist for day-to-day -day play, but it's definitely getting a save. And that is that we have one for sure, one not too sure, and one no go. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you catch Chris's video. He released his today as well. Check out Rate the Record anywhere you can think we would be. We are 
We are on Apple Music, YouTube primarily. You get to see our lovely faces. And shoot us an email if you want to talk. If you want to request anything, let us know. Rate the record at gmail.com. For this week, I have been Savannah. I'll see you with my graphics title card next week. And see ya.